up YouTube welcome back to storms hour so today I just wanted to talk about this guy named Mark sailing or sailing or however you say this basically you knew this guy from Glee um, he was really popular you know really mainly when Glee was on um, the role he played on the show was one where he was kind of like an asshole but it turns out he was an asshole in real life so according to people.com Glee's Mark Sailing dead in apparent suicide a month before sentencing in child porn case. So I'm going to read this article to you guys and just pretty much give my opinion on this story. So Mark Sailing or Sailing or whatever has died in an apparent suicide weeks before he was sentenced to go to prison for the possession of child pornography. He was 35. Quote, I can confirm that Mark passed away early this morning. Mark was a gentle and loving person, a person of great creativity who was doing his best to atone for some serious mistakes and errors of his judgment. His attorney, Michael Proctor, tells People Magazine. He is survived by his mother, his father, and his brother. He was found hanging from a tree in the area of the Los Angeles River in Sunland. He was pronounced dead at 9 a.m. this past Tuesday at the coroner's office. And his relatives have been notified of the death and the official autopsy is scheduled in the next few days. He had already pled guilty to possession of child pornography in October 4th of 2017. He struck a plea deal and he was expected to serve four to seven years in prison. So, on social media, a whole bunch of people are given a bunch of RIPs. Um, these are mainly people that are like Glee fans that live in this fantasy world where they just think that the character that they see on TV is indicative of the actual actor themselves in their personal lives. I'm here to tell you that it is not. This man was caught with over 500 images of child pornography on his computer. He was reported by his ex-girlfriend when he was trying to get his ex-girlfriend into watching this child pedal disgusting nasty stuff so what i have to say is why in the hell are we giving rips rest in peace rest in peace for what this man was a pedophile it is what it is he hung himself he's gone i don't feel sorry for him i don't have i don't have any room in my heart for pedophiles for people who hurt other people he didn't, you know, he he's he he killed himself. He's he offed himself. And let's keep it real. This man was never remorseful for what he did. He was not, you know, he, he didn't just feel so bad that he just had to take himself out. This man killed himself because he was a coward and he knew what happens to pedophiles when they go to prison. He knew that those prisoners was going to tear that ass up in prison literally and figuratively and he couldn't handle it he couldn't handle it he couldn't go from living this pampered um you know millionaire lifestyle to a cell in prison so he took the easy way out or easy way so he thought so hey i can't tell you guys how to feel if anything i kind of feel bad for his family just because you know they care about him but for all the children whose images were compromised just to please this man, for everyone that was put at risk, for his ex-girlfriend who had to be exposed to that, I feel bad for them. That's where the empathy, the sympathy, whatever, that's where it should be, not for a pedophile who has killed himself. So I don't have any RIPs. I guess you're gonna say R-I-H, rest in hell. I mean, whatever, but that's all I have to say. You know, this guy pretty much did society a favor and he offed himself, so, you know, not that I condone that. I don't condone that for anybody, but I am just not going to feel bad for a man who was a pedophile. So that's it for Storm's Hour. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, catch you guys next time.